Welcome. And here is Samson steak. OSP officers fighting corruption on empty stomach. In November 2020, respected anti-corruption crusader Martin Amidu resigned as a special prosecutor. In April 2021, Kisi Jabing was nominated. He was vetted for the job by parliament in July and sworn into office the next month, 5th August. He was not paid salary in 2021. He worked. He was not paid salary in 2022. He kept working. And there is no indication he and his staff will be paid this or the next month or in 2023. <clears throat> the people hired to catch the thieves and recover stolen money are denied resources and starved for a cumulative 17 months. Surprisingly, the OSP continues to give us hope that the broad day rape of the public purse won't continue without consequences. In its latest move, it has put three officers of the Northern Development Authority, NDA, and a businessman before court to explain how a 5.7 million consultancy contract mysteriously turned into 10.4 million CDs. It follows a petition by Martin Pebu, who brought the bizarre scandal to public light on Newsfile last year. A petition by the president's own appointee, the former head of the NDA, Dr. Alhassan Suleimana Anamzoya, who fought the rot, sat on the president's desk for months without action. And this compelled Martin Pebu to accuse the presidency of complicity for the several months of inaction. In December 2022, the president dismissed the two deputy CEOs who are now facing criminal charges together with the CEO himself. It is curious why he, the CEO, was not also sacked or at least suspended. The OSP <clears throat> has ended the rot at the port that denied the state tax. The GRA's discretionary discount regime on values of goods and vehicles <clears throat> was blatantly abused and became a tool for corruption as found in the OSP decision in the LaBianca case. Yes, this is the OSP that will even chase a dead man, a ghost, found to have owned to own state property that cannot, by law, be sold or gifted to anybody. How can you feel proud that for 17 months, you have not been able to resolve this issue to pay them their salaries. What do you gain unleashing communicators paid by the taxpayer and blind party loyalists to attack the SP because Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu did his job in disclosing this to the public? By law, the SP's conditions of service are those of a justice of the Court of Appeal, and his staff are ranked as the police and allied security agencies. What you should be explaining to citizens is whether they have asked to be paid anything beyond what they are entitled by law. So please, stop the uncritical propaganda that the SP has rejected 20,000 city salary and has appointed members of his law firm. The fact is that all staff appointed there were lawful. They were approved by the OSP board. And only one person comes from the OSP's, uh, the SP's law firm. The fact is that they reject salaries below equivalent officers in the police service. It's a special entity. And 
what you're seeking to pay them is contrary to the law's prescriptions. It took nine months after his appointment for government to constitute the OSP's board. His crime was to fill only three out of the seven critical offices to enable him work. Someone would have gone to sleep and wait until you fully finish the place. These were later approved, as is the case with new entities. This is a specialized and new office. It deserves special attention. It does not have the resources that the long established agencies like the Yokos have, and therefore must not be compared with those when considering its budget. Let's empower this promising office financially as it demonstrates readiness to make corruption an expensive venture and is already helping the state to recover badly needed money in millions of cities. Just pay Kisie Jabing and his staff what they are due by law. This office has what it takes to quickly gain financial independence because under the law, it is to retain 30% of the stolen money it recovers, 50% goes into the consolidated fund for all of us, 10% is to be spent on whistleblowers and informants that it will use or engage, and the remaining 10% goes to the Attorney General's office to assess that place. That is my take. Resource the OSP. Pay them to work.